Well, to keep the social distancing right and tight, Cirrus Aircraft won't be bringing its annual pre-show shindig to AirVenture this year, but it is bringing its latest generation vision jets called the G2 Plus. I caught up with Cirrus's Matt Bergwall for a flight demo ahead of the show. We have now delivered over 260 vision jets to customers worldwide. And since certification in 2016, we came out with the G2 vision jet. We added safe return to the product line. And now we're on to G2 Plus vision jet, which gives our customers even more capabilities, both in terms of performance and also connectivity inside the cockpit. So one of the capabilities that we added for our customers is an increase in takeoff performance. And what this means is we'll shorten up the ground roll of the airplane in, when, while you're taking off. Um, also, you're able to get above a 50-foot obstacle in a much shorter distance and also uh, creates even better climb performance. This gives our customers even more capabilities and more opportunities to go to different airports kind of throughout the United States in all weather conditions. We've actually seen an improvement of to 4% to all the way up to 20% of an improvement in takeout performance. The 4% is really where you don't need it as much, sea level airports, standard conditions, or even colder. But the 20% occurs when you need it the most, when you're at high density altitude airports in very hot summer day conditions. So what this means in practical terms, our customer now has access to 4,000 foot airports in all weather conditions in the Northeast United States. They're also able to take off from places like uh, Henderson, Nevada, fully loaded on a hot summer day, where typically they were, which gives you an extra 500 uh, pounds of payload or fuel on board the airplane. So increasing your range or be able to carry some extra people while maintaining safety margins. Again, giving our customers more capabilities and more options while they're flying their vision jet. So Matt, uh, we're ready to uh, depart out of Hartford Brainerd here and the published takeoff uh, uh, runway length is 4544 uh, with a takeoff distance ground uh, run of 2846. Now these are numbers for the old airplane or the old G2. What might we expect for the uh, G2 Plus? So the G2 Plus, we can actually expect that takeoff distance over a 50-foot obstacle to be uh, decreased by about 700 feet. So we'll be looking at about 3,700 feet. Okay. And then the ground roll is going to be uh, pretty much about 2,300 feet, so about a 500-foot improvement there as well. So you, you can already tell even on a day like today that those safety margins just got enhanced you know, with the G2 Plus airplane. Hot day, uh, ISA plus 17. And, uh, Do we have the traffic in sight? Clear Density land. altitude is 1720. Summertime. Summertime. In order to increase the takeoff performance of the airplane, we worked with Williams International and we fine tuned the takeoff thrust setting of the FADEC engine. So, what happens is when the pilot brings the thrust level full forward, um, they get the optimum amount of takeoff power available that actually decreases the ground roll, increases the overall takeoff performance of the airplane, and there's no other action that needs to be done by the pilot. It happens all automatically with the FADEX system of the Williams engine. So Matt, we departed Hartford Brainerd Airports, runway 20. We knew what the numbers were on the old airplane. What were our actual numbers in this G2 Plus? So our ground roll is about 2,200 feet in the G2 Plus, which uh, decreased our uh, ground roll distance about uh, about 400, 500 feet. Um, so I mean, it, it was substantial. I mean, that's uh, boy, what a 15, 20 percent improvement on a hot day. On a hot day, um, and then also our uh, we we're at 50 feet. It would took we we're at about 3,700 feet of runway. So 3,700 feet, and the book was saying about 4,500 feet. So we decreased that by 700 feet. Let's talk a little bit about how we're how we're loaded here. We've got four passengers on board. Yep. Typical size people. How much fuel do we have? Uh, fuel we had about 220 gallons, and uh, we were coming in about uh, 5,900 pounds. With the G2 Plus, we also increase the capabilities with the ca in the cabin by keeping our pilot and passengers connected with in-flight Wi-Fi. We utilize the GoGo L3 advanced system that allows, gives our customers and our uh, pilots uh, 3G speeds, um, something that's been asked for for quite some time in the Vision Jet. All G2 Plus Vision Jets with the Safe Return Autoland system are now going out of the door fully loaded at $2.96 million. Now you can see the new G2 Plus in the Cirrus exhibit at AirVenture 2021. 
and read a full report on the airplane in an upcoming issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. This is Larry Anglosano reporting.